South-South Financing through the UN system is delivering results across all sustainable development goals. I'm a strong believer in South-South cooperation as a key instrument for the implementation of the Agenda 2030 and for a fair globalization. Within the four trust funds managed by the United Nations Office for South-South Cooperation, examples abound. In Malawi and Zambia, over 2,000 child marriage survivors were re-enrolled in their local schools through scholarships, providing them a second chance to education. I came back when I was 15 years old. It was in the year 2016 when I came back. 1,249 women in Cambodia and Indonesia were trained in healthy and sustainable food production. In Chad, 126 acres of degraded land were reforested or rehabilitated, and 1,000 community members were trained in land management techniques. A climate early warning system was put in place for seven Pacific countries establishing a network of shared data collection through modern technology. In Fiji, 1,530 women learned to produce energy-efficient cook stoves from locally available materials. Quality education and youth engagement was supported through modern educational facilities and enhanced teaching capacities. In Timor-Leste, 1,200 school students gained computer literacy and access to computer labs. In Belize, a multi-purpose complex is enabling 4,000 local residents to engage in sports and community activities. The Ministry of Human Development, Families and Indigenous Peoples Affairs is very pleased to have been a part of the Support to Infrastructure for Human Development Health and Sports Project. Over 2,000 young professionals from around the world gained knowledge and technical expertise through Youth for South trainings, fellowships and entrepreneurship competitions. Over 500,000 youth virtually connected. In line with the overall experience of the courses and, and the professors, I want to say the courses have been so educative and interactive. 26 government officials from 11 countries in Asia and the Pacific exchanged rural development experiences through a learning tour on rural transformation. In Grenada, a building was constructed to provide low-income families with daycare and educational services for infants and toddlers. So the fact that we have this new child development centre, they now will be able to put their children in a safe home and we go out to find a job or to find some of the training opportunities that is available that can help them to get a job in the future. Three communities in Cambodia retrofitted renewable energy into their schools and farms. In Mali, 10,000 people gained access to safe drinking water through the construction of six hydraulic systems and 18 drinking water distribution points in six villages. In Barbuda, a hospital and post office were built back better after Hurricane Irma. The post office is completed and is very valuable now for the community here in Barbuda. In Dominica, more than 100 students have a new and extreme weather resilient educational complex. The trust funds managed by the UNOSSE were early responders to the COVID-19 pandemic. City-to-city -city connections enabled contributions of medical equipment. Your mask helps protect those around you. Exchanges of knowledge for effective COVID-19 response were enabled among policymakers and health sector officials. Over 2,500 representatives from 1,000 cities in 140 countries learnt about local disaster risk reduction for COVID-19. 14 southern countries received medical equipment, including 54 ventilators, 10 ambulances, over 30 hospital beds, and more than 1.2 million personal protective equipment. An e-learning platform for doctors and nurses which had developed software and equipped remote healthcare providers in Vietnam produced a module on COVID-19 training. 
In Sierra Leone, the digital loan and emergency COVID-19 credit product has reached to over 15,000 underserved community members. South South Galaxy, an artificial intelligence-driven digital global platform, attracted 300 partners to virtually share their knowledge. It also enabled sharing over 600 solutions. 250 southern think tanks were brought together for frontier research. During this decade of action, 20 UN system entities are implementing projects across the four funds managed by the UNOSSE, capitalizing on their operational presence across the globe. In 2020, the combined portfolio of the four UNOSSC trust fund enabled 91 projects across 53 countries, as well as regional and global initiatives. These four trust funds vary significantly. The India, Brazil and South Africa facility for poverty and hunger alleviation, operational since 2006, is a remarkable example of coordinated action by three southern countries working jointly with the UN system for the benefit of other developing countries. The India, Brazil and South Africa Fund has directly supported 31 developing countries with $40 million. Through the Perez Guerrero Trust Fund since 1983, the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the group of 77 member states annually approve small research and collaboration projects that have directly benefited 134 countries in areas of critical importance to the Global South such as trade, technology, agriculture and technical cooperation. The India UN Development Partnership Fund was established in 2017 to provide $150 million to sustainable development projects in fellow developing countries. The UN Fund for South-South Cooperation was created in 1995 by the United Nations General Assembly. In the last decade, it has received over $30 million in contributions from over 40 partners, mostly UN member states. China has been UNFSSE's major contributor, supporting global initiatives. UNFSSC also hosts a facility sponsored by the Republic of Korea, focused on promoting cooperation in science, technology and innovation. The funds managed by UNOSSC are linked by one common element. They are guided by South-South principles and are a key instrument through which the UNOSSC delivers on its mandate of UN-wide system coordination and facilitation of South-South cooperation. They mainstream policy into practice utilizing South-South and triangular cooperation to address common development challenges.